There is something special about fire, something ancient. You know the sensation when you sit around a campfire, you just stare at it and you continue to stare. Something about it draws you in. Fire has been a part of human evolution ever since we started to walk on two legs. But one mystery remains unsolved. When did we start to make fire on purpose, besides taking advantage of natural wildfires? And did our ancestors, our ancient relatives, made fire over one million years ago? And if so, what tools did they use? And how can we explain that much more recent hominid species, such as the Neanderthals, doesn't seem to have been using fire during the cold periods of the Upper Paleolithic? Hi there, welcome back to Campsite Sweden. Fire is all around us today, even if we don't see it. It is used in combustion engines, it is used in cold fire power plants. It is hidden away, but it's all around us and our modern life would have been impossible without fire. But there is a lot of controversy about when humans started to control fire. When we first were able to start fire on purpose, one recent discovery totally turned things upside down. By the way, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to Campsite Sweden. But for now, sit back and relax. This is a story about how humans tamed fire. I guess the day was something like this that day, 400,000 years ago, when a group of Neanderthals came back to their cave. They had been out hunting woolly mammoths and uh, they now came back after an exhausting hunt. And they were very hungry, <clears throat> so they needed to, um, to get something to eat for dinner. And uh, one of them went into the cave and came back with two stones. And he started to struck the stones together and uh, soon the cave lit up with a fire was a shining stone, almost like a crystal. This is marcasite. This is a kind of iron containing rock formed in uh, earth, in sedimentary rocks. And uh, since it contains a lot of iron, you can struck this with a harder rock to create sparks. And that's what the Neanderthals did. And it is possibly also what the Homo erectus species did one million years ago. A remarkable discovery was made a few years ago in the Wonderwick Cave in South Africa. And the Wonderwick Cave is a cave that is known to have been inhabited by hominids for the past two million years. And uh, archaeologists found in this cave traces of coal, traces of campfires dating back to over one million years ago. So this is the evidence that humans or hominids could control fire over one million years ago. Was this fire taken from natural wildfires and just sustained? Or was Homo erectus able to make fire with tools? And this tells us that it might have been able to cook food because cooking food is one of the most important evolutions in human history. Because when you start cooking food, you release a lot of nutrients. The food becomes much more available. The energy in the food becomes much more available than eating food raw. And in order to thrive in colder climates, you also need to control fire. 
So there are many signs telling us that Hum Erectus did in fact made fire with tools. Our ability to control fire made us able to utilize energy in a much more efficient way. It made us able to develop this cognitive ability that has taken us from the caves, the Neanderthal caves, out from Africa to where we are today. Our hunt today for things to burn might as well contribute to our demise. Personally, I believe that it was the Homo erectus that discovered this uh, ability to make fire with stones. Because there are no evidence but there are a lot of signs, both evolutionary signs and archaeological signs. Of course, we could have used wildfires, taken embers from wildfires and sustained fires without being able to make them. But our um, skills with stone tools, I think, had contributed to our ability to make fire. So next time you sit by that campfire and your thoughts wander away, remember that this body here has been our companion for hundreds of thousands of years, possibly as long as one and a half million years. Thank you very much for watching this uh, episode. If you want, give this video a thumbs up and give a comment on your own experiences, what you think about when you sit next to a campfire. And I'll see you next time. Bye.